Welcome to Ditch Auto, my name's Jared and I have a bag review for you today. For those of you who have a drone, more specifically one of the Phantom lines like the Phantom 4 or the Phantom 4 Pro, maybe even the Phantom 3, uh, the Airport Helipack from Think Tank. This is the version two. Now I uh, have the version one as well and we're gonna take a look at the differences and then just talk about this bag. So this is the version two, just came in and I'm excited to, uh, to use it. This is the version one, so let's just do a, a side by side here. You can kind of see that, um, you know, they kind of they kind of look the same. They're pretty similar bags. Um, there's some differences though uh, in these bags, and so I kind of wanted to talk about those. And I'm gonna transfer everything from one bag to the other while we talk. So as you can see from the outsides of the bag, uh, this one has a zip. Uh, front pouch here. So if we unzip this pouch, uh, we have um, some room for accessories. I have a, a DJI Osmo mobile in here. I have uh, nothing else really, but I could fit a laptop in here. Um, I also have some storage for uh, you know, some different accessories and stuff like that. I've never really utilized this front pouch too much because it's, it doesn't have a whole lot of protection. Um, specifically, you know, I would be traveling with this bag and although there is a laptop sleeve here and it has some padding to it, um, I just always found myself kind of throwing this bag, um, stuff on top of it. You know, this bag uh, kind of would get bounced around a little bit more and it just didn't have all the protection that I needed. On the front of this bag, however, we have a flip, uh, a Velcro flip and a very long pouch that goes all the way down. Now, I don't necessarily think that I would put a laptop in this section, uh, but I definitely would put cables or anything else in this section. Um, because it's just a big sleeve with a lot of room for stuff, and I think that that's great. Now, um, on the sides, uh, on this bag, there was a side handle. This bag does not have a side handle. And to be honest, I think I may miss this side handle a little bit because it's nice to be able to grab the bag from the top or from the side. When I'm running through the airport, I may have other bags on me, and if I'm carrying this bag from here, I've got uh, straps dragging on the ground, but if I carry it from the side handle, I didn't have that problem. This bag doesn't have that, however. It doesn't really have anything on this side of the bag here. Um, there's nothing. But on this side of the bag, there is a, uh, a pouch on the side, which uh, this bag has. This bag also has a pouch, but it also has a strap here. So if I wanted to throw a tripod in here, and a lot of times I'm using this bag not just for Phantom, for my drone, I'm also using it to carry other things um, like a camera, maybe a lens. I'm trying to get everything in one bag. And so this strap here that I could put a tripod in here and hold the tripod into the side, I think that's a great addition. Um, I just wish that they'd kept the handle over on this side, but it's definitely something that I could live without. So let's go inside of the bag. We'll open it up. And uh, I still have the little card that comes with it, so we'll toss that off to the side. Um, on, the, uh, on the back side here, we have a lot of, of storage slots for cables or propellers. Typically, I would keep my propellers here, some of my cables. Um, and then we have a lot of slots here for storage, which is great. So let's take a look at moving some of the stuff over from the version one into the version two bag. Now, this bag has traveled with me all over the United States uh, over the past year, year, two, year and a half or so, I guess, since I've uh, got it, um, or I guess the last year, to be honest. So um, it's traveled with me a lot and it's, it's taken a beating. It's been in overhead bins, it's been in hotel rooms, it's been on my back through the streets of New York, through Seattle, Washington, it's been a lot of places. Um, and it's held up really well. Think Tank bags definitely hold up really well. Um, so the one thing that uh, I have done is kind of customized my bag a little bit. Um, you know, you've got to figure out the best way to fit uh, your items in the bag. And, um, you know, not everything is perfect when you go to kind of start putting everything into the bag. So you might have to do a little bit of customization also comes with a, a rain cover. Um, so if you're out, I mean, the bag does a pretty good job of 
wisping away water, but if it was raining really good, you could put this over your bag, cover it, and then it becomes, uh, you know, very water resistant. You know, you can walk around in the rain, not worry about getting anything inside of your bag wet, which is fantastic. So I'm just kind of sliding some of the accessories and some of the things that, you know, I'm typically gonna have to carry with me into the bag. I've got a couple of extra batteries we could toss in here um, and I can get more, a little bit more precise uh, by moving some of these Velcro sliders around. I have a lot of brackets that I carry with me. Um, you know, when I'm shooting on the go, I have other cameras, brackets I'm, I'm locking onto things. This little pouch here, which is a Mindshift um, pouch, I store a bunch of my uh, action cameras in it. And so being able to keep those action cameras with me, uh, typically, you know, I'm out shooting outdoors with the drone. I'm not typically shooting indoors. So whenever I'm in this bag, I want outdoor stuff, things that I need quite often uh, for shooting outdoors in this bag. And it gets kind of messy. So it's nice that it's got these big pouches, lots of space for me to store. Uh, and that's what I, one thing that I just really like about this bag. So in this bag, in the version one, we have three pouches. They're all equal size. On this bag, we have one large pouch and one smaller pouch. So, uh, you know, I think that that's a good thing because, you know, you need, you might need somewhere to put your tablet. And in these bags, you know, they had, uh, I believe this one, yeah, this one didn't have a sleeve. Another bag that I have that's a think tank bag that's a, uh, um, a, a drone bag had a small sleeve for the for your tablet, but this one just doesn't really have that kind of space. So you've got you know space in here to store your tablet if you need to, uh, if you want to keep everything all together. Sometimes you might have your tablet or something in another bag, which uh, is understandable. So let's just finish this off. I've got a few more cables and little things just to put in some of these pouches. So we'll just drop those in there. I shouldn't even carry these with me anymore, these polarizer filters that were for Phantom 4, but don't fit on Phantom 4 Pro. All right, so I have everything out of my version one bag, and now in my version two bag, you can even slide the Osmo in here. This is some, this fits much better in this pouch than uh, in the version one pouch, because I was sliding it into the laptop sleeve and then trying to put other things around it, and it was just kind of creating a problem. Um, just didn't fit right. A lot of times we do that. We have to, we shove things into a bag, we try to make it fit, try to make it work, and it just doesn't work. Um, you know, it doesn't work as nice as we'd like it to. So everything went in really easy into this bag, zip it right up, and I've got the handle here. You know, it's, it's definitely a little bit heavier now that I've got my stuff in it. Um, but one of the things that I do love about these bags is just how comfortable they are to wear. Um, on the back here, you have padding. You also have uh, a mesh, which definitely helps dissipate heat and moisture. So that way you don't get as sweaty carrying around a backpack. You know, think about those uh, summer days when you wanna go hiking or something, you're carrying your drone, you've gotta hike into where you wanna fly from. And um, you know, just having the, the moisture wicking is great. Uh, there's also a channel down the middle here um, that definitely allows, uh, you know, airflow and everything. You've got a strap to go across the chest, which is adjustable uh, height. So, you know, for some of us who have a wider chest or for women who sometimes the placement of these straps just is not comfortable, you can adjust it up and down appropriately. And then you also have a waist strap so that the bag can just be held on uh, very securely. Um, and you don't have any problems with the bag falling off your shoulders, being just, you know, loose and insecure, or unsecure. Um, yes, it's a good bag. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I'm, I'm mourning the handle that is on the side, but it's not a deal breaker. I love the big flap because this gives me so much more storage uh, for longer items, you know, such as that Osmo Mobile uh, that just wasn't fitting too well in the other bag. I have, I feel like I have a little bit more room left in this bag, whereas I was using up the entirety of the interior of the bag on the version one. So whether you have a Phantom 4 Pro, 
the latest model, you have a Phantom 4, maybe a Phantom 3, um, you're gonna be able to fit it in this bag. A lot of accessories as well, extra batteries, your charger, your RC, uh, even other things, as you saw, I fit all my action cameras and stuff and, uh, you know, a lot of mounts and stuff in this bag. And it's just a great overall bag. Um, it's kind of, you know, even though it has, you know, kind of the stitching here just to kind of signify the Phantom, you know, style or the Phantom layout, most people aren't really going to assume that this is a drone bag. They may, you know, think that it's a, a camera bag or something, but um, it's not going to draw that attention that some of the other drone bags draw, uh, which, you know, can lead to, you know, somebody wanting to snatch it and, and take it. Um, these bags are just really well designed. They're really strong. I love the fact that though they are camera bags, um, they are extremely functional and they are a little, you know, inconspicuous. You're not Go, going to assume that this is full of lenses or something like that or, or expensive drones you know you've you've got uh, a bag that is just solid and of course is going to feel good when you're wearing it so this is the uh the latest airport helipack version 2 from think tank think tank builds some great bags so make sure to check out the link in the description below um to where you can pick up this bag uh i've got a uh, a, a special um you know, link that helps support us because we love Think Tank bags. Think Tank bags thankfully loves us. And so we've got a link. So if you wanna buy one of these bags, use that link below. It helps support our channel here um, on Ditch Auto. So thanks so much for checking out this video. If you want more drone videos, we have a couple of those and we're working on more. Um, definitely have a couple of review videos and some stuff that we're working on. Also, if you want to get better footage and better photos out of your drone, make sure to check out our how to shoot in manual mode with your Phantom 4. It's a great video and it really helps you understand shutter speed, aperture, uh, ISO, and all of that stuff. So so that you can uh, just get the best looking footage out of your drone possible. Thanks so much, subscribe to our channel, and we hope to see you back here soon on Ditch Auto. Thanks a lot.